Hello students, today we are going to learn about the Rockwell and Brunel hardness test which is included in the material testing lab 1 of and its course code is MEL203 Now, first we are going to study the Rockwell cum Brunel hardness testing machine Here, we will be finding out the hardness of a given specimen using the machine where hardness is defined as the resistance of the material against Hardness is defined as the resistance of the material against abrasion, scratching, or indentation. So, the Rockwell cum Brunel hardness tester is having a cast iron body and the enclosed design protects the internal operating parts from dust and other wear and tear. The basic system is having a system is of a weight and a lever where the Okay, there are three local scales, each of which is suited to its particular purpose. Each scale differs from uh, one another in two respects, but is one is the total test force applied and the type of indenter. And here we can see that in the scale there are scale A, scale B, and scale C for Rockwell. And there is for Brunel there is 30D square test and 10D square test. First, let us see what Rockwell test is. Here for Rockwell test, we are going to use an indenter of we are made of diamond cone with an angle of 180 degree for scale A. Then for scale B, the ball, uh, ball intender is used with a diameter of 1 by 16 inch size. And for scale B, again, we are going to use a diamond cone intender of 120 degree. Now, the total test force for scale A is 60 kg, for scale B, it is 100 kg, and scale C is 150 kg and the 60, 100 and 150 each of this will be having a preliminary test force of 10 that is here it will be 10 plus 50 that is equal to 60 here is 10 plus 90 equal to 100 and 10 plus 140 is equal to 150 that is 10 is the minor load and remaining is the major load now dial to be red for scale A the black dial should be red for scale B it should be red and for scale C it is again black now, for the typical application of the scale A is for testing thin steel and shallow case, shallow case having steel. For scale B is used for force B, soft steel, malleable, copper, and aluminium alloys. Now, scale C is used for, now this is the image of the uh, machine that is available in our lab. Here we can see. This is the place where we put the specimen and this is the load adjuster. This is the loading lever. Okay, we, if we move this lever to this side, it is load, loaded and again if we move to the other side, it is unloaded. And the pointer will be on this side here and we can get the reading from here. Now this wheel, if you rotate this wheel, this pillar will move upwards and here there will be an indenter. Here we will be placing the indenter. Here we will be putting a specimen and the load will be applied in this direction. And the readings will be obtained here from this side. Now first let us see Rockwell hardness test. Reference is IS1586-1968. The aim of the Rockwell hardness test is to determine the Rockwell hardness number of a given material. In the apparatus is the Rockwell hardness testing machine should be
and the procedure as we said first first uh, when we are going to test uh, will be in this test we will be using two specimens that is brass and steel so first we will be testing brass using steel ball in the from the table that we have learned before for soft alloys we will be using steel ball in the of size 1 by 15 inch diameter so for testing brass we will be using this steel ball of diameter 1, 1 by 15 as the intended so fix, fix that on the machine then set the load selection of it 100 kg that is also obtained from the table now place the specimen on the platform of the machine and raise the platform using the hand wheel and bring the specimen just in contact with the board then after that apply the minor load that is 10 gauges by rotating the hand wheel until the pointer in the main dial is zero and the pointer in the inner dial is along the red mark keeping the loading lever in unloaded position that means first we have to place the specimen on the platform of the machine after that raise the platform and bring the specimen to in to be in contact with the indenter then after that we have to continuously rotate the hand wheel until the main dial is zero and the pointer there is an inner small dial and in that there is a small pointer and that small pointer should be coming and they it will start rotate uh, start to rotate after you rotate the hand wheel and finally that small pointer in the inner dial will coincide with the red mark and when that happens it is understood that uh, the minor load is applied now after that we can apply the major load or additional load of 90 kg by turning the loading lever to the loading position in the figure and the machine I have shown you the loading lever there is unloading and loading position then the, 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 the uh, loading lever will be at first in the unloaded position after that you can simply turn it to the load loaded position and the point uh, now after applying the load the pointer will move along the dial and then it, it will come to rest now the total load of 100 kilogram is applied that is 90 plus 10 minor load keep this load for a period of 5 seconds and when the needle of the indicated depth gauge is ready the major load is removed that is after the pointer is stable remove the major load and now what happens is the needle will rotate backwards and it will finally come to rest at another point now let's simply take the reading from where the pointer is resting and that will be the Rockwell hardness number so that is how you can measure the Rockwell hardness number of a specimen using B scale now for C scale same procedure is followed but here for uh, here we will be testing a specimen a steel specimen at uh, using C scale and the procedure is similar or the only difference is that the intender is a diamond cone with 120 degree tip angle instead of steel ball and the major load upon is 140 kg force earlier it was 90 kg force and hence total load of 150 kg force now the direct reading of hrc that is hard number from c scale is obtained from the c scale of the machine so while doing the test we will be using a brass specimen and then a steel specimen brass specimen is tested using c scale with steel ball intender and steel specimen is tested using on c scale using diamond cone index now this will be the observation first material uh, this is for bra We have to repeat each test three times and take the average of the value. Here we'll be using one by sixteen inch ball ball intender. Major load will be ten. Total load will be ninety. So hardness number will be obtained from B K for brass. Again we repeat it for the same same brass. We'll be doing it three times and finally we'll be taking the mean of the three values. Now for steel we'll be taking for uh, the diamond cone intender. The major load is 140 
total load is 150 then heart of number will be obtained how to do the experiment three times and take the average value now here the result of Rockwell hardness number for bra equal to dash here provide the average of the three values of time here similarly for steel also now inference write the inference by referring the is code for standard values of hardness number for brass and steel now the another infer inference is given here that is the two advantages of this test is rapid testing time and direct readout of the total hardness number but it has a drawback of having many arbitrary non-related scale now we are going to move on to the next test that is the Brunel hardness test here the reference is IF1500 here the aim is to determine the Brunel hardness number of a given material uh, then Paratus is the Brunel hardness testing machine a microscope to measure the diameter of intermediate in the Brunel hardness test a hardened steel ball of diameter D is forced under load P onto the surface of a test specimen after the removal of load P the mean diameter D of the indentation is measured that is first the diameter uh, steel ball of diameter D is used as indenter and it is forced onto a specimen as lot P and after the removal of the lot the mean diameter D of the indentation is measured using a microscope so the Brunel hardness number SB is dependent as total load applied by surface area of indentation and total load is P so surface area of indentation is calculated using this formula and finally learn this formula that is HB is equal to 2P by 5D into D minus root of capital D square minus small d square where capital D is the diameter of indentation sorry diameter of indenter capital D is the diameter of indenter and small d is the diameter of indentation that is measured using the microscope now the procedure is fix the required indenter of D in position and lock it properly on the machine then select the proper lot to choose the material of the test from the chart or the following chart may be used as the reference that is in this chart make for material lead and tin the test lot is 1.25 d square where d is the diameter of the indenter now for material aluminium acquisition mixer that is 5 d square then nickel brass iron bronze cast iron light alloy it is 10 d square and for soft iron and steel it is 30 d square so d is the diameter of the indenter and the indenters are usually available in 2.5 mm and 5 mm diameter the test lots are 16.65 that is 62.5 that is why I calculated from this value okay in this test we will be testing brass and steel for brass the test load is 10 d square and for steel it is 30 d square for brass the value of d is 5 mm. Therefore, test load is 10 d square, that is 10 into 5 square, that is equal to 10 into 25, 250 kgf is the test load for brass. Now, for steel, d capital D is equal to 2.5. So 30 d square is equal to 30 into 2.5 square. That's equal to 187.5 kg. That is. So here we'll be using two loading conditions that is 250 kg for brass and 187.5 kg for steel. That is obtained from 30 d square that is for steel. For steel, test load is 30 d square and capital D is equal to 2.5 mm. And for 
brass test load is 10 d square with capital D is equal to 5 uh, now continuing with the procedure place a specimen on the supporting valence bring the ball indenter in contact with the specimen by turning the wheel now the surface of the specimen should be well polished free from oxide scales for a missing that is the surface should be cleaned well before the test then the care should be taken that indentation should not be made nearer to the edge of the specimen that is the if the indentation is provided nearer to the edge the values may be may not be accurate now the distance from the edge to the center of the indentation should be greater than 2.5 times the diameter of the indentation that is some rule that is distance from the edge to the center of the indentation should be greater than 2.5 times the diameter of the indentation that is if the specimen is like this if you are providing an indentation here this distance that is edge to the center of the indentation should be greater than 2.5 times small d that is the diameter of the indentation then thickness of specimen should not be less than 8 times the depth of the indentation now apply the initial load by rotating the handle until the point on the main dial is along zero and the indent dial is on the red mark that is up. in the Rockwell case first simply put the specimen on the platform then rotate the handle until the pointer on the main dial is zero and the in, uh, pointer now apply the major load by turning the loading lever and this is usually applied for 10 to 15 seconds for iron and steel and for 30 seconds in case of other metals now unload it slowly by bringing the load lever back to the unloaded position now release the handle take the specimen out mark the position of indentation and to measure the diameter d of the indentation left on the specimen with the micro that is after applying the load remove the load and take the specimen and mark the indentation that we have just provided and measure the diameter small d using the microscope so after the uh, so after taking the reading uh, we can calculate the Brunel hardness number using the formula sp is equal to 2p by pi d into capital D minus root of capital D square minus small d square where capital D is the diameter of indenter and small d is the diameter of indentation and the well structured Brunel hardness number looks like this that it will be reporting the result like this that is 75 sp 10 bar 500 bar 30 where 75 is hardness number obtained 10 is the diameter of indentation so indenter used and 500 is a test load and now the Brunel hardness number 4 brass is equal to the given value of uh, you have to again here also we have to do 3 tests for the same specimen and report the average value here and Brunel hardness number 4 and the specimen that is steel also the average value and not now inference we have to provide the inference after referring the AS code for the standard values of Brunel hardness number and there is another inference directly given so thank you.